Pew! 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 Are you tired of shelling out major cash on soda stream refills? What if I told you there's a way to cut these costs by 90% or more? Today I'm going to show you how a single five pound CO2 tank can save you a small fortune stretching your soda stream supply for months. No more constant refills, no more spending on expensive small cylinders, just endless bubbles. Stick around to the end to learn the full setup from the tank to the adapter and how to hook it all up in minutes. Here is the secret, a five pound CO2 tank. Now this can power your carbonation for months and costs as little as 10 to $30 for each fill. And this setup is perfect for the SodaStream Art, the Terra, or any newer SodaStream model that uses the pink quick connect cylinders. It's a game changer that will give you the equivalent of about five small CO2 cylinders at a fraction of the price. Start by purchasing a five pound CO2 tank. I've chosen this sleek red one from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description that looks amazing and works like a charm. It costs around hundred dollars, but it's an investment that pays off fast. The second item you'll need is a specific adapter to connect the larger tank to your SodaStream device. This one that I use is around $40 and also from Amazon. I also use a 10 pound keg wrench uh, that just makes tightening the CG320 uh, adapter to the main cylinder much easier. Now, when it comes to getting your five pound CO2 tank filled, it'll come empty from Amazon. Simply Google food grade CO2 near me. There are gas supply stores in most major towns or homebrew stores that'll refill your own tanks in 10 to 15 minutes. Just ensure that you always fill with food or beverage grade CO2. Also any restaurant in your area with a soda fountain will have a local CO2 provider. So simply ask your local bartender where they get their CO2. A uh, quick but essential safety note here, make sure your tank does not have a siphon tube. I've never seen a five pound tank with one, but some 20 pound tanks, ooh, like this one, do have a siphon tube. And we don't want that when we're doing a direct connection because we actually want the gas to come out from the top here versus liquid. When you have a siphon tube, it's actually pulling liquid CO2 from the bottom to the top of the tank. And that's gonna be too, uh, too compressed and too much for our uh, soda streams to handle. So always make sure we get one without a siphon tube like this five pounder. All right, let's get this set up so we can carbonate. So first we wanna connect the quick connect adapter to your soda stream device. And most will have a space in the bottom of them like this here in the Terra that your tube can go through. So let me do that right now. I'm gonna take off the top part here and then I can easily loop the tube in through the base like so, reconnect the quick connect adapter to the tube, and then simply slide it in as if we were putting in a bottle, and there we go. Now you wanna place this kind of near a ledge so you have some space for the tube to go out. Replace the back, and now we're set. Now, Next, we want to attach the CGA320 uh, adapter side to our main tank. And I've got a handy dandy keg wrench here that just makes tightening this a little easy. Go ahead and tighten this. You want to hand tighten it as much as possible first, but that often won't be enough. You'll get a leak here when you turn on the main tank here. So go ahead and tighten this just a smidge more. And now we can turn on the main tank valve. Hear a little hiss. We've got gas now going in through the line into our device. And this is just the same amount of pressure that you would get from a smaller CO2 cylinder like this now. So we can safely depress this and carbon or CO2 will come out and you can just simply pop in and go. Now your soda stream will regulate the release of CO2, uh, but if you want extra peace of mind between uses, you could turn off the main valve like so. The setup here we have here is gonna be the same amount of pressure from here, so it's not a real safety concern to, to leave the main tank valve open. One thing you do wanna ensure though is that this is secure. So right now, this on the top of a table, not the most safe of spots. I would put this down on the ground and secure it to either a table leg or some sort of cabinet to keep it safe, make sure that no kids or doggos are coming over and knocking it over. You could also get a uh, CO2 uh, strap like this that can actually hold the tank in place and you can secure it very securely. So this is what I use for my 20 pound tank. So I'll put a link to this as well. Thank you for watching and yeah, good luck carbonating with your own uh, five pound tank. You're gonna save 
so much money doing this method. And if you don't have the space for a uh, tank like this, go ahead and check out my video on doing refills of the pink uh, quick connect uh, cylinders. Also very possible, a little more complicated, but if you just wanna to stick to the cylinders and refilling them on their own, it's a great option as well. So that's all you need to save so much money with your own larger five pound tank. You'll never have to deal with refills again. So I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, I'll put links to all these uh, three products in the description below. And yeah, happy carbonating. <laughs>